Stories of individuals driven by their dreams to excel, bring about a change for a better India. Of communities who will not give in to their circumstances and work to change public attitude here. But first on India Positive, his passion for intelligent machines took him to America's top university for robotics and computer science. Akash Sinha was even involved in building robots used widely by the US military in Afghanistan and Iraq. He's now back and intends to arm the Indian Army with advanced life-saving technologies. Welcome to the future, a world where robots keep you company, serve you water and guard your skies. Today we meet an Indian who's making that possible. I remember as a kid, I used to bring the same electronic kit, break it in two days and then I'll ask my dad to buy it for me again. But they encouraged me a lot. Even though my family is all full of lawyers, uh, I happened to be one guy who was doing engineering and they uh, did support it. His love for robots sent this Delhi engineer to Carnegie Mellon, America's top university for robotics and computer science. Once there, he made a car that could drive itself for a U.S. Army research project. Then, he helped make the Packbot, a military robot now widely used in Afghanistan and Iraq. Today, Akash makes robots for the Indian Armed Forces. This is a miniature model of something he made for the DRDO. He says it could be useful in situations like the 2611 Mumbai attacks. You know, a scenario like that, you can send a machine, you can see what's happening on a TV screen and you can control it from a remote distance. After a gold medal from the Department of Science and Technology, this year, Akash is aiming even higher. He now mentors talented Indians and absorbs them into the company he runs, Omnipresent Robot Technologies. Even with family, robots are never far away. Daughter Anisha seems interested in the family business. Akash's wife Jyoti, an award-winning engineer herself, has a special gift plan for him next Valentine's. Just like, you know, there are toys, soft toys and, you know, things that you give to your Valentine's. On the 14th Feb, I think there should be a robot also. In New Delhi, I'm Jaymon Joseph. Yes, sir, and I have a special guest from Omnipresent Robot Technologies with me here in the studio and it's certainly a special treat. Take a look. The robot that is uh, coming in towards me right now in the studio is a special prototype. I'm just going to pick it up here. Now this robot is a special prototype of a similar robot that uh, Akash Sinha designed for DRDO. In fact, uh, Akash joins me here. Akash, why don't you come here up and uh, talk about this robot. Hi, nice to have you on the show. Hi, so you. what inspired you to come back? Because you were already doing well, designing such robots for the US Army. What inspired you to come back here? Uh, you know, the, while the work was very satisfying in the United States, I always had this feeling that all my work is going only to US Army. And I wanted it to benefit uh, my country as well. And so I was looking for a good opportunity in which, you know, I'll be able to do that. And so that's, that's the key motivation. Right. Uh, I hope it doesn't kill me. Yeah, what no, does this it do? one won't. The actual one. <laughs> yeah, what know. does it do? This one, this particular one. Let's talk about it. Okay. So this particular one is, as, a, as you, you know, said in the program, this is a miniature version of an actual robot we've delivered to DRDO. This is supposed to do bomb disposal, surveillance, or all, you know, also situations like you know what happened unfortunately in 2611. It could go autonomously, climb stairs inside a building. Whatever happens, you know, you can see from the camera in a video, staying far away. You can also listen to the audio that's happening over there. So you know, it can be used wherever you don't want to send a human being. Right. You know, where there is danger, you can first send a machine. Right, so in 2611 actually a machine like this could have gone in, done the surveillance, checked how many people are there, what is the extent of the fire and then maybe alerted the, 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 the NSG commandos who moved up yes, there. Yes, absolutely and uh, you know you would have also had a lot of information 
on the fly directly flowing back to our uh, you know men who are guarding right you know but 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 uh, at a time you mm. know when we have so many foreign vendors coming in bombarding the defense ministry how difficult is it uh, for entrepreneurs for uh, uh, people like you uh, to make inroads into the defense uh, ministry and say look here we are from india we can do it we have the technology yes it is certainly not easy uh, you know the the first uh, first several months we were going without any revenue but uh, you know eventually you find a way there are always some people in the defense who are actually you know did encourage us we got you know one contract from digardio to build on that uh, but uh, i i still hope that the process gets you know a little more faster and smoother to encourage uh, even young people from india right uh, also very interesting at this point let me tell you uh, akash of course is also trying to encourage young boys and girls in fact the robot all the movements that the robots uh, robot was making today has been op operated by a young person from la martinia in lucknow in fact harsh is with us uh, hiding in the corner he's operating the robot harsh why don't you come come up here uh, right now so harsh has been operating it harsh how interesting is it and how many movements could you do with this many several movements right like uh, in future when you pass school maybe you want to do you want to get into robotics as yes. well what interests you the most about these machines i like robotics very much okay and i enjoy doing robotics and technologies yeah so okay you 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 are all action no talk right you don't want to talk so much but you want to show how the robot uh, really mm. operates so you're holding a radio mm. so this is how a person in actual situation will be yes. operating he'll be at a distance you know it is the, we we also wanted to show this because see it is easy enough that even a kid could operate it you know uh, we're not exposing soldiers to you know so high tech technology that they, they will uh, you know not get uh, they'll get confused right. also you know i find it so interesting that students like harsh are so excited about robotics you know he's obviously might be a little nervous on camera but he's uh, very passionate about about you know his work in that right uh, certainly so so what you're saying even a sepoy with the nsg commando you know he doesn't have to be a scientist he doesn't have to be a, no. a, a vehicle expert even he can operate it as far as the camera is concerned mm -hmm. which can be installed and he can see it uh, from mm -hmm. a distance thank you so much uh, akash for joining us and showing us tomorrow we hope uh, you develop more technologies and do well all the best thank you so much thank you and uh, thank, you, thank you so much for thank that harsh well with that uh, story it is uh, time now to move into another one of those uh, special stories that we have uh,